Welcome back drone fans to another exciting episode of Jamdong Drones. Today it's all about the propellers of the DJI Mini SC. I'll show you how to put them on correctly and also how to remove them. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss a single second. Okay drone fans, let's get started. Now if we take a very close look at the drone, you realize that there are four motors here. Each of these motors are brushless motors and you can see the coils. It's very open so you can see the coils as it moves around. As I move this around you can see it inside. Now these motors spin in different direction and when I say different direction I mean in relation to clockwise and anti-clockwise motion. So our, for example, our back right motor, this will give us a clockwise turn. So when we arm these motors, it will spin this way and these motors will spin anti-clockwise. Now something important to note, the, pro the motors on the diagonal side, that is this motor and this motor, will spin in the same direction. As well as this motor and this motor will spin in the same direction. But not all four motors will spin in the same direction. Now, now that we've gotten that out of the way, yeah. now you're going to notice that there's a little mark, especially on the back left leg, and that's the right front leg. All right, so we have a mark on the back left leg and the right front leg. Now, where we see those marks, it means, therefore, that we'll have to use a propeller that has the same mark. Now, we have two types of propellers that come with this drone we have whoops we have one that is marked and we have one that is not marked all right so take a close look at the one that is not marked so i'm just adjusting the zoom there and you take a close look at this one and you can see the difference now now what that means is that we'll have to match the one that is marked to the arm that has that mark and our screw fell out so let me just grab that there it is and uh, you know what now that it's out you can take a closer look at it so the threading is way down at the base of the screw that's where it starts so we can just push that in like that and we can use a normal Phillips screwdriver to turn this now the base package will come with a screwdriver and I'm just going to get that and this is the screwdriver that comes with the base package. Now, I don't really like this screwdriver because, for one, it's not as easy to turn as that one. And what I mean is, there is a movable part at the top of this one, so I can keep this section fixed in my palm, and I can be turning it like that. I can't do it with this. It's not as comfortable. So I use this when I'm replacing the propellers. Now, let's get started. Okay, so I'll start with the front left propeller and this one takes a propeller that is not marked. So we can always take a closer look, see that the arm is clear, there's no mark there. So it's going to take a propeller with no mark. So I think this is one. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to hold it over that hole while we turn with our screwdriver. So you want to make sure that it's lined up. And then you start turning. Now you can hold the motor itself, which is recommended. So you're going to hold the motor in place while you're tightening. And it's as easy as that. You want to put a little bit of a tightness on it. Not too tight to wear the threads, but just enough. I'm grabbing another one that is not marked. And I'm going to put it right here. So just like before, I'm just holding it like that to position it. And then once it's in position, I start turning with my screwdriver. All right, so all right, so now we move to the next one. Now this, this arm is marked. So we're going for one that has a mark on it. There it is. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did before. We're just going to hold it over the hole. Once it's centered, we grab the motor and you turn. Now don't put too much pressure on these motors. You want to be careful when you're turning. There it is. So it's nice and firmly on. 
and we're grabbing another one that's marked and we're going to put that one on as well so I'm just using this screwdriver to hold it in place like that and then I'll grab the and then I'll turn once that is on nice I want to double check to make sure that the propellers are matching so mark to mark unmark to unmark and then you repeat the same steps for the back arms as well now once you're finished you should see what it looks like okay guys so once it is done it should look something like this you want to double check the arms to make sure that the arm that is marked is matching with the propellers that are marked all right so this one matches up quite nicely this one matches up quite nicely. This is an unmarked mark propellers. We're checking the back legs as well. Back legs seem great. We just, there we go. And we're checking the other one. And that one looks great as well. So it means therefore that we're finished setting up our propellers. Now, maybe you're wondering what would happen if you were to attach them in the incorrect way. Well, a couple things would happen. One, there is a system in this drone that will detect that the propellers are not installed correctly and you'll get a warning on your controller. So it will not allow it to have a successful launch. It will attempt to rise, but then it's gonna stop because it's gonna detect the irregularity in terms of lift coming from the arms. So there's a safety feature in this drone. And again, I can't say it enough. For the money that you pay for this drone you're getting a lot out of it so this is just a short video you know teaching us how to get those propellers on and coming up in my future videos i'll be exploring more of the dji mini se but until then you can watch more videos on my channel it's jamdung drones over and down you up and die, yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah.